Hey guys, Nikki here and we need to talk. Okay, we in professional mode today. We not playing today because this is a serious issue, okay? So if you're new to my channel, they call me Platinum D. Obviously, I do beauty lifestyle, but today we are going to talk about a very serious matter to me that the Lord really put on my heart to bring to you guys because I kept saying this is not full video worthy, but every time I talk about it in a vlog, the comments and stuff nearly make me cry because so many people can relate. So many people are lost about the subject that I just feel like I need to bring you guys a full video. Before we even start though, I ain't no doctor, okay? I am not a doctor. Not a doctor I am. She's not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I said it as many different ways as I could because you know how the comments can get right. I am speaking from personal experience and everything that happened to me and everything I experienced and everything I've felt. So if you're interested in knowing about menopause, perimenopause, postmenopause, the symptoms, the sign, how I got ignored, keep watching. <laughs> Before we go any further, let's hear from our sponsor over at Bloom Chic. They are a new clothing company and I figured that a lot of my subscribers are older or a lot of the people who might watch this video might be older or working class. Um, I show you guys trendy date night um, event type clothing all the time but I always forget about my working class women who just want some cute clothes to wear to work, right? So that's what I will be showing you guys. This company is new to me. So this is their flyer right here. So they build their self on integrity, passion, love, and innovation. So of course, I will leave all of the pieces that I am going to show you below along with a discount code. So let's talk about these elevated work essentials I will be showing you guys today. Guys, I love how comfortable they are as workwear. They look good. They're flattering. They build confidence. My whole adult life, I have been plus size. And so I get irritated sometimes with my buttons not buttoned right around my breast and etc. And this brand has it down packed they know plus size bodies and how to do it right everything is stretched and woven fabric i just want you guys to know that this company focused on body positivity we all love that and i love the way the clothes accentuate my body and they fit just perfect the product quality is a one guys the fabric is stretchy but good quality and everything is just bum over here i feel so confident in these pieces and i cannot wait till you guys see me in them so let's go a lot of these pieces you can interchange so let's just try them on and then mix and match them and try them on together let's just do it all right guys most of my pieces are a size 14 so if they look a little oversized, that's why I still feel like it's a good fit. So you have this cream button down top and these trousers that have pockets to them, guys. Don't love that. Let me come in so you can see the top of the shirt. We're working with this look right here. There are so many ways to wear this. So this is just look one. This shirt does stretch. It's some stretch in the shirt. You can tuck the shirt in and have you a good work look. The pants do button. They do have a belt loop on them. Just very convenient clothes, you know, that you can wear out, that you can wear like multiple ways. Like, isn't this just giving? <laughs> I'm not used to dressing like this. I wrinkled it a bit, tucking it in, but there's this look where you just tuck one side in. Super cute, guys. They sent a black cardigan. We all love a cardigan, guys. Oh my gosh. So let's just put this on over it. Why not? So there's a button in here for the inside for people like me that button I always want to pop open because of their wrist size 
that keeps that closed right there. Spectacular. Spectacular. Got a whole other outfit. Or you get chilly in the office, throw on your cardigan. Excellent quality. Excellent quality. So we kept on the pants and switched out the top. This has a little effect to it. Same pants. The striped shirt complements it as well. Very cutesy. Same thing with this shirt. Let's tuck it in. So cute. I love the pockets on this. So how about we take our same cardigan, right? And we're just gonna put it around our neck. So we took the pants off and we got a dress. This is a black dress. We kept the same shirt on, right? You can, of course, wear this dress with out the shirt but we're dealing with work looks right now right so i just kept the collar shirt on to look at a little bit more work church school appropriate right there's a silver vocal right here but this is a straight slip over your head type dress you do have a little split right here but it's not too much to where it don't look professional this material is really really good like oh gosh cutesy and just imagine that cream top under here as well so let me turn around so you guys can see the back <laughs> it's a cute little dress it looks kind of like preppish uniform so guys this is extremely adorable i kept the same shirt on under here of course, you don't have to. I'm going to step back because this is so cute. Look at the split on this one. And it's a little bit more form-fitting. Let me let you guys see the back because it's scrunch. So it gives you room to move. And guys, let me tell you the cutest part about this dress, guys. First of all, let me let you guys get a full. Right? This is what we can do. You can unbutton some of these or all of these and have like a fold over moment. Just keep going till you want to stop. I'm going to stop by right there. And you have like a totally different looking dress. And then we have this number right here. So you can go from in the office to happy hour. Hold up. And do you have a cardigan in case you get too cool at happy hour? <laughs> I just want to explain again that these are working pieces. A lot of these pieces you can mix and match. So, for example, if I have um, three pieces, you can switch that up every day to make it through a five-day work week. Like, interchange the items and it look like a totally different outfit. The quality on these pieces is a one whoo thick good quality that you can rewash over and over again they are staple pieces meaning that you can have them a long time it's not anything that's over patterned or over colored that you'll say mm, i don't want to keep that because it's too noticeable that i wore it already everything is kind of like basic and it gives a very clean aesthetic feel to it all right so once again i will leave the link to bloom chic discount codes and all of that below the video thank you for sponsoring this video let's move on so guys let's move back to menopause now the reason why i want to talk about it is because forever i didn't even know that menopause is what i was going through why because when you go into the doctor's office my age at the time and you're having any problems or symptoms that come along with menopause they're not going to assume it's menopause because you are so young for example how they say wait till you're 40 to get a mammogram wait till you're 50 60 to get a colonoscopy no i'm having issues so the same thing with menopause so everybody ignored me 
So if you guys remember this video way back years ago, I think it was eight years ago, that was the beginning of my problems. The doctors told me I was showing signs of PCOS. It was fibroids. It was womp, 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 womp. All of that making me feel this way, right? The whole entire time I was going through perimenopause. So this is what I want to explain to you guys as well. I'm just going to talk to you about what happened with me. So please don't come back with me in the comments if it didn't happen to you. Um, if something else happened to you and I don't mention it, I can only speak from what happened to me. So as I go along, I am going to be off the dome. So this video might be all over the place. I might jump back and forth a lot because I didn't take notes. I just wanted to speak from the heart because at one point of time, menopause had it to where I didn't want to live. Not saying that I was the S word. I never thought about you know, getting rid of myself. I just didn't care if I woke up. Does that make sense? It, it might seem strange, but I just had no life, but I just had no life in me anymore. Textbook, this is a 10 to 12 year phase. If I say anything wrong and I can catch it, I will note it right here. If I say anything wrong and I don't, just know not to holler at me in the comments. It wasn't purposely. So this is typically a 10 to 12 year process. As if a woman don't have enough problems with puberty, menstrual, childbearing, having the child, we gotta go through menopause. So how I found out was through a blood test. I had a full panel ran because I was having a lot of health issues and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. For one, my cholesterol was high and for two, my hormone levels was off. So when my cholesterol was high, the doctor was like, your cholesterol ain't never been high. Then they looked at my hormone levels and said, this is exactly why it all ties together. I was menopausal. So let's just start guys. I found out um, what's crazy is all of this started in my thirties. I'm about to be 44. All of this started in my thirties. So like I said, nobody ever thought. So after the doctors did the blood work and et cetera, my aunt, my cousin, and everybody else was like, I went to menopause at 36. I went to menopause at 38. I, and I'm like, why the, y'all did not tell me this. Got me over feeling like I'm dying. And nobody thought to say, Nikki, go get checked for menopause because this is hereditary that we go through it early. I don't have a mom. My mom couldn't tell me that, even though she stopped her cycle at 37. Um, and my aunties and them just didn't think about it either, just like the doctors did. So if you don't pull anything else from this video, what I want you to pull is be your own advocate. If you feel like you off, something is off. Can't no doctor tell you, you're just fine. It's anxiety. Change your diet. Run the test. It don't take nothing but some blood work to run some tests, okay? So, let me just tell you why it's a 10 to 12 year process. Because it's peri, it's post, and it's mental. I mean, it's peri, it's mental, and it's post. So, let's talk about peri, or some might call it pre-menopause. I'm going to tell you guys some of the symptoms I experienced and you might experience. And we'll just go from there. So, perimenopause is the beginning of the stage where your body is first starting to realize it don't want to burn you don't want to bear birth children no more. <laughs> I'm done. And there is medically induced menopause. Well, not induced, but you can get like a hysterectomy or something that will throw you into it and all that. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about just naturally going through it. So it started with, I feel like if you have heavy cycles, your menopause is easy. If you have light cycles, your menopause is going to be hell. I had the easiest cycle ever. Listen, I could wear a panty liner. I could, I would only go like three days and I never felt sick. Never. I didn't cramp. I didn't get nauseous. Easy breezy. You hear me? And menopause is kicking my tail. So as I talk to other people who are going through menopause, I ask them, did you have a rough cycle? You get what I'm saying? So it started with me having those simple cycles to me having cycles to wear. I had to change mattresses. Then I had to get the things you put down when you have a baby because I was messing up mattresses. 
I was bleeding so heavy. I was having to wear a tampon and a pad at the same time and change like every 20 minutes. When I would wake up out of my sleep, I couldn't even make it to the bathroom. It would literally be a trail of blood. And I would just stand there in the bathroom in a puddle of blood with big clots coming out of me. Like I would have to like push a clot out of me like I was having a baby to stop a cramp. And I would have to get straight in the shower. My spouse at the time was cleaning up the blood and stuff so I could go ahead and get in the shower and not mess anything else up. It was crucial. I would bleed so freaking heavy. I would go to the doctor and say, I am dying. But they would say, your blood count is good. Then another symptom I was having is it would be extended. Lord Jesus, one time I went six weeks six weeks and I remember it vaguely because I was at a Sally Beauty convention and I kept telling my nail tech at the time am I spotting do I got some on the back of my clothes even though my stuff was dark I think I had on burgundy that weekend I was bleeding so heavy there where I couldn't even sit in the tub it was just it was bad I don't want to get too graphic but hey that's what this video is about it was horrible do you understand me and it made it to where i don't want to go anywhere it made it to where i was stressed i mean imagine going that long bleeding that heavy it was just a lot and then it'll stop and won't come back for like two months i would go two months without one three months without one then boom here it come or let's reverse it i would have one and then it'll stop after a week and I'll be out, oh, 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 uh, uh, uh. And I'll just be sitting at the computer editing because that's when we all use desktop, y'all. I will be sitting and whoosh, out of nowhere, it just came back. So your period gets so freaking confused. You either having them a lot, having them a long time, over bleeding, short bit bleeding, spotting in between. You just start having a lot of issues with your cycle. Also, what I noticed during perimenopause is my digestive system got off track. That's when the heartburn first started. That's when the indigestion first started. That's when the nauseous first started. That's where the dizziness first started, like slightly off and on. I guess because you're bleeding and stuff so much, it's just like... So, for my opinion, the only thing I, I want to emphasize that because I do feminine hygiene videos all the time and people love to tell me stuff in the comments you can't tell me about my body baby that might work for you or that might happen to you but from my experience that is the only thing i experienced with perimenopause is the cycles the only thing my cycle was just up and down 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 all right so that lasts that can last a good range you can be perimenopause for a minute i'll put it across the screen because i don't remember i really don't all this stuff is a blur and I just know that I don't like it. <laughs> so let's hop into menopause. <laughs> so let me tell you what takes you from perimenopause to menopause. When I said that I would go two, three months without a cycle, then it'll come. Three months without a cycle, it'll come. One month, one time I think I actually skipped four months, right? So when you technically go 12 months, you're menopausal. Let me repeat that again. When you go 12 consecutive months without a cycle and they put you on progesterone and all that to try to force you to have a cycle and you never have a cycle, you're menopausal. Welcome to hell when i tell you i had ekgs ran i had ct scans ran i had colonoscopies i had endoscopies i had blood work i had mris i had everything done to my body because i physically thought i had cancer I physically thought I had lupus, any autoimmune, if it, any autoimmune deficiency, I thought I had it. Crohn's, lupus, MS, fibromyalgia, because your hormone levels drop so low, 
what the females need progesterone and estrogen drop solo your body spaz out your cortisol cortisol level drops and, and your body is like Everything from the rooty to the tooty start messing up and changing. Your hair starts falling out and getting thin. Your vision. Child. You know how the preacher be having a book and be like this. I can't even read. When I say even my sinuses start messing up. Dude, when I tell you the random pains you have just out of nowhere and then they go away. You could just randomly be sitting right here and a sharp pain to shoot through your back. A sharp pain to shoot through your side. A sharp pain to shoot through your shoulder. A sharp pain to shoot through your leg, your toe. Where did that come from? Like, what just happened here? You get what I'm saying? Your breasts get sensitive. They hurt. Your um, stomach, you have digestion problems. You can't eat the same. You're going to have to switch up your diet or you're always going to be sick. You have brain fog. It was some days I would cry because people would ask me to speak and stuff at events. And I would have to tell them no because I would be afraid that I can't gather my words together fast enough. Or I was going to say something stupid or sound stupid. Like you, get, you forget everything. Your moods. You, we're going to get back on the moods. Let's finish with the body. When I tell you you're... Yoni, your lady part changes. I got really sensitive. I got um I started getting cysts. Oh, thank God I don't get them anymore. I um couldn't shave. Uh, shaving would cre create a cyst. Um I shouldn't have worn makeup because this is it's really emotional. It, it, you really feel like you can't function now a lot of women experience dryness a lot of women experience pain down there being that i was married to a woman at the time i really didn't experience the pain part in it because child but i'm so blessed that i didn't i didn't i don't experience the dryness but that's a main problem that women complain about all right um only thing you can do for that is just go to your doctor. They'll prescribe you some stuff to make it function good again. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have leg pains out of nowhere. Feet pain out of nowhere. You have these moments where your legs feel weak and they feel like they can't hold you up. You go through all that and you think you be going crazy because you're like, what is wrong with me? The whole time it's menopause. There was times I just really felt like I couldn't go on. I don't want to wake up to this. When I say I would be on YouTube just trying to function and have a normal life vlogging. And you guys will talk so much shit about me in the comments. Not realizing how menopause makes you so irritable. Everything irritates you. You will have your mood swing so damn bad. I would cuss my whole house out. And then 20 minutes later I'm crying apologizing. Because I'm like what just went over me? You're not even yourself anymore. You're not. Like, I would blow the fuck up and throw the whole house, basically. And then five minutes later, I'm like, why did I do all that? Because my mood swung so much. Any and everything irritates you. Child, your spouse could breathe. Why are you breathing like that? Your spouse could wake up. Why are you, why, why are you woke? Your dog could be at the door for a walk. Go walk yourself. You be so irritated and nobody understand this. They just think you're being a bitch. They just think you mean, but they don't know how you didn't get any sleep the night before because it causes insomnia. You literally will stay up all night sometimes. You didn't get any sleep before because you got sharp pain shooting through your head, your sides, your back, and you don't know what happened. Things might look a little different because I ran out of memory, but you don't know what happened. You literally stayed up all night because there's a puddle of water under you the hot flashes <sighs> this is even emotional to talk about when i think about going through this stuff the hot flashes were so freaking bad out of nowhere you just feel like you're burning take this wig off take this dress off 
take this skin off, whatever you need to do. I would literally have my family turn my house on ice cold. I would literally stick my head in the freezer. I would literally go and get ice packs and then 10 minutes later I'm freezing. Turn the air back up. Get this ice pack away from me. I'm perfectly fine. You're like, what just happened? Why did my body overheat like that? So recently I was saying that I watched a TikTok or a reel where Holly Berry was saying every time you have those hot flashes, your body is having a mini stroke. So you mean to tell me all because I'm a woman, I have mini strokes all the time because I'm having a hot flash? My bed, I would wake up soaking wet. I have a mattress cover on here now, Every well, I, the, my last few mattresses, because I was messing up mattresses. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Because it's, I'm sweating all night. Literally, my body heat is so hot that it's going through the sheets to the mattress. And it's putting like that, like, they got like yellow heat on your mattresses. So I had to get the bed cover, cooling sheets, cooling pillows, a fan right by the bed in my face, a bed fan at my feet. Why am I on fire? I understand you don't want to have babies no more, but you ain't got to do all this. It's horrible, y'all. And with me, it's very horrible because I can't do HRT. I can't do hormone treatment. I can't do any of that. So what I started doing was watching videos of other women. And it made me feel normal again. I watched a lot of women who felt like they were dying like me. And they was explaining all the stuff that happens to me. And I'm like, oh, because I literally thought I had cancer or something. That's how bad it get. It gets that bad. I would stay up all night like, am I having a heart attack? Is this some type of cancer? Not sleeping. And it's menopause the whole time. So, the shit is hard. Hard. You got to have people around you. You got to recognize that you're going through it first because that's going to help a whole lot. Because before you know you're going through it, you're just going to think you're dying, child. I ain't going to even lie. But after you figure out what it is, you got to have people around you that understand that you are going through menopause. You have to read books, watch videos on other women who are going through menopause so you will know that this is normal. And you have to figure out what's, what works best for you. Like I said, I can't do, I got off subject a little bit. I can't do HRT. I can't do hormone therapy. But a lot of those videos I was watching, the women were saying that's what helped them. I cannot do that because I have a deep family history of cancer, especially breast cancer. And HRT is known to cause breast cancer. It's, it's facts. My gynecologist. My gynecologist just flat out said that. You know this causes breast cancer. But then tried to like sweep it under the rug and say, that's usually for like older women. You still young. Child, my mama died from breast cancer. Her sister had breast cancer. They oldest sister had breast cancer. All my grandma daughters had breast cancer. And you talking about some, because I'm young, I got a better chance of not getting it on this HRT. No, you just want to write me a prescription. Let me tell you how I knew that. Because I was like, so what's the natural remedies? My doctor said, that's not my expertise. Because you want to write me a prescription right. Okay? So, that's a case-by-case -case basis, though. A lot of people said, my friends, mothers, and stuff said they've been on HRT for years and can't function without it. Literally will beg their doctor for it. I, it's just too much of a risk for me. So, I'd rather just put up with it. Now that I know that's what I'm going through, I'm, it's better. You know what I'm saying? Or I know what triggers me or what makes stuff bad. So let me tell you that. Let's move into that. Since I can't do medicine, my diet. Oh, I can tell from when I eat good and when I don't. Your diet, walking, exercising, moving around. I tell you guys all the time, just move. Just get up and move. Just move. Just move. Because the longer you lay idle, the bones start hurting. Your mind start bogging. Like, I don't know what it is. Menopause do not like for you to sit still. You got to get some circulation, some cardiovascular stuff going, baby. You got to move around. And what also helps me, a lot of people might say this is weird. A lot of people might laugh at it, but sex. A lot of people are like, I don't even think about it. I don't, I can't, it hurts. I'm dry. I don't even want my men to touch me. I'll be so irritable, but it's releasing something. It's releasing some baby. You got you gotta move. You gotta move around. You gotta get get that blood pumping. 
So I would say um, there's a lot of natural oils and stuff. Black cohost, cohost, I think that's how you pronounce it. They're um, estrogen, estrogen, I mean, over the counter. They say that work. Somebody recently said that something you can get out of sprouts. That's like a, um, our version of estrogen works. But I've never even tried none of that. A lot of people say prenatal vitamins work. <sighs> It's a case by case basis. You're going to be your own experiment. You got to figure out what works for you yourself. So like I said, what works for me is just moving around all day, keeping my mind busy and eating right. Them days I eat horrible, they menopause like. Like, girl, why you keep messing with me? Damn. Yeah. So that's most of what I experienced doing menopause. And let me tell you something else, how I knew it was hormonal, and then we'll move into post what I am currently in now. I knew it was hormonal because them days I wasn't having a cycle for two months, a month, three months, I felt horrible. When I started bleeding, I could jump off the ceiling. Energy from any nowhere. Like, girl, I'm like, why is it the opposite? Why do I have so much energy and stuff now that I'm on my cycle? It was the weirdest shit ever. I even went into my doctor and said, what is this complex that's called when you have energy and when you're on your cycle, but you don't have it when you, when you not on it? They didn't get the hint either then. I don't, well, I don't even remember what they told me. Probably, probably tried to blind me on some PCOS stuff or something. Whole time, that was my body just shifting back and forth. So, I want to say the hardest part about um, menopause is my doctor actually put me on Paxil. I needed an upper. I needed an upper. I was so down. I was so irritated. I was so depressed. Oh my gosh. It was like the devil was fully at work. Like fully, fully at I didn't want nobody to talk to me. I closed myself off in this room all the time. I don't want you to look at me. I don't want you to talk to me. I don't want you to touch me. It just got really, really bad, y'all. Yeah. It got really, really bad. So, if you don't have a family history of breast cancer and etc., I would recommend the HRT because everybody who I watch that use it say that's what helped them. But unfortunately, I'm not really willing to take the risk. So, when you've went that 12 months without the cycle, during that 12 months, when you're not having a cycle, this menopause. When you've went that 12 months and haven't had one, now you're post. It's over. So you think. Postmenopause. It's just as bad. And they say you're going to be post for like two, three years until your, ba your body hormones level out. So this is the moment where your body goes through the motions and try to figure out how it's going to level out. What we'll be doing now, sis? What we'll we doing? So you still have a lot of the menopausal symptoms, just not waiting for that grace period for the 12 months to come to say you're postmenopause, basically. So it's just basically the, the period after it's said and done. But you still have issues. You just, um, your body is just leveling out, basically. So the doctors always say, just hang in there till your body levels back out. So that's the phase I'm going through now. Okay. Um, a lot of the symptoms have went away. Let's talk about that. Now that I am postmenopause, let's reverse it. I no longer have the hot flat, the night sweats. I no longer have, I do have hot flashes from time to time, but I don't think that those are menopause induced. I have them when I eat bad and yeah, man, don't worry about all that. But I um, don't have the, um, where I'm waking up in the middle of the night in a pool of sweat. I don't have, um, I want to say that's basically all that has subsided was the hot flashes and that's one of the worst parts. So I do, I no longer have hot flashes. I'm, I'm not as irritable as I used to be. I do still be irritable and now my mood swings are more sensitive. So instead of them being angry, I'm more sad and I, I cry. I cry three, four times a day sometimes. Y'all never knew it. I cry. But, oh, I cry for a good two minutes and I'm over it. Like, I'm super hypersensitive to everything. I can go outside right now and my neighbors say, my dog had surgery today and I start crying. Every freaking thing makes me cry. 
everything. You understand me? Happy, sad, I'm crying. And it ain't like ah, falling out type crying, but like I shed tears like two, three times a day. It's crazy. I'm so sensitive. Um, I'm trying to see what else. Besides that, that's basically it. I'm just waiting on everything to battle, to battle, to balance out because, like I said, I have been going through this since roughly 2016 ish. It's 2014. I'm waiting on that 10 year, 12 year to come. Cause baby, woo, this is hell. Oh, so I'm quite sure I left a lot out. I know I did, cause baby, boy, I say I be over here going through it. Oh, my vision is worse now too. Like I got my contacts in now and I can't read up close. Like, and then my balance be off sometimes. So, um, things might seem attainable and like I can reach them right here, but they're a little further than I think. You get what I'm saying? Or closer than I think. Little stuff like that, like this stuff just messes up your whole, every, your whole everything, all right? So I think that's enough. I done scared y'all up enough, right? I'm just letting y'all know also, stop telling these doctors to, stop letting these doctors tell y'all when you are into stuff. My, you, everybody, you too young for menopause. You want my blood work? That's the number one thing I hear every time I say, ooh, this menopause. Or if I take my fan out, what my favorite fan? This is my new favorite fan, y'all. If I take my fan out, and I'm like, ooh, ooh, I'm having a little flash. It's this menopause. The first thing somebody gonna say, you too young for menopause. Child, I don't know if it's what we eat. I don't know if it's the medicine we take, but the menopause is getting younger and younger. The cancers are getting younger and younger. So stop letting these doctors tell you, I'm not gonna test you for that because you're too young. You get what I'm saying? So I technically started, my menopause-ish stuff at like 36, 37, hold on. Carol the one, and let's count on our fingers, 36, 37, 30, 39, 41, 42, 43, yeah. That's when I started. That's what it's all started. And I tell people every day, I would rather have a period than go through this. I literally would rather have a period every day than go through menopause. It's that bad. Don't believe me. Watch some other people video on it. Mm -hmm. I'm not making up stuff and I'm not over exaggerating. It's that bad. Some days you just don't want to go on. Some days you feel like you can't go on. Some Your anxiety. How did I forget that? You be so anxious. You just feel like you're doomed. The world is falling apart. If you step out your room, you're not going to be able to make it. You, you feel so doomed. Guys, I'm not playing. But what you got to do, do whatever it takes to get your mind right. Meditation, yoga. If you need to get on something for anxiety, do it. Because this will take you down if you don't handle it. All right, so tell me your menopause, perimenopause, postmenopause symptoms, horror stories, or stories below in the comments to help another woman out. If you have any questions for me, leave the questions in the comment. I will be more than happy to answer them for you. And let's just work on making our bodies better. So when this stuff happens, baby, we we don't feel like we dying. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do that because every every female gotta go through it, I guess. Oh, child, I don't even want to talk about it no more. It's, it's traumatizing. So make sure you check out Bloom Chic. They will be linked below, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.